Okay, so I've removed the nut on the compressor wheel. Right there. It didn't take very much force at all. I think it, if I recall correctly, it's 19 foot-pounds of torque to put that bolt back on. And I will definitely mention the correct, if that is not the correct value of torque to put that bolt back on on my next video because if you over torque the bolt you can break your shaft and, and cause just catastrophic damage so be very careful with that and have a good torque wrench make sure that you actually torque something else as a test to set your torque wrench in before you actually torque this bolt down you want to make sure it's as accurate as possible and uh, this wheel was stuck on there with a bunch of nasty goo and crap so I had to turn it a little bit a couple times to get loose enough so I could actually just pull it off at first I thought it was threaded on there but then I realized you know I'm kidding myself it's not threaded on there I just need to uh, give a little bit more pulling force and it came off just be very gentle with this it's made out of I think aluminum and if you bend any of these or break any of these fins here you're gonna be buying a new wheel and then balancing both of these again. So go ahead and take that off. And then turn it around and take a look here. We have a snap ring that needs to come out. As you can see there. And um, go ahead and, once you get all this apart, go ahead and get some carb cleaner, brake cleaner or something and get rid of all of this, this nasty crap that's on there. Uh, this is most likely from the um, compression regulator valve from the crankcase, you know, just letting oil vapors by and gets collected in the intake system. So clean up as much as you can. It'll increase your flow rate for your intake, and uh, it's just it's a good idea. So um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the snap ring, and then see what happens. Maybe the thing blows up. I don't know. We'll find out. Bye.